And my name is uh, Samuel, Samuel Gashusa. Uh, and I'm 19 years old. When I got diabetes, I was about nine years old. In order to, for me to survive, I must have uh, the insulin. My mother was not able to manage to purchase for me the insulin. So sometimes I could even stay without. I have been experiencing uh, thin many problems. I have been gone in a coma twice. I have been gone, done operation to be removed cataract two times the, my, in, bomb, in both of my eyes. And I'm still being requested by the doctor to go and be investigated in order to see whether I need to be, to be done dialysis. We'll do your best, but I'm still struggling to, to work up on life and go up with it. And I stay just like a, a person without even, even, even hope. We're just overwhelmed by the sheer numbers that we are seeing of young kids developing diabetes. Year in, year out, we are seeing bigger and bigger numbers, younger and younger kids. We've seen children as young as one year old. The struggle for them is so big that even to get to adulthood, it is a struggle. 75,000 children aged 1 to 14 get diabetes every year. With proper diagnosis, management and access to insulin, a child can lead a normal life. But many, like Samuel, suffer severe complications, and many don't survive. It is outrageous that a drug that was discovered in 1921 is not accessible to everyone who needs it in the world. In fact, it is unacceptable that children should be dying because of lack of access to this life-saving drug, insulin. We have to do something to redress the situation.